Welcome to Exuma! We're Matt and Nat, and we've spent the last three years traveling the world as part-time non-remote travelers. After accomplishing our goal of visiting all 50 U.S. states in 2021, we've set out on our next big adventure to see as many of the 1,000 places to see before you die, well, before we die. In our last video, we were at the famous Atlantis Bahamas Resort where we took in all of the amazing tropical views, observed the breathtaking underwater world at the beautiful aquariums, and got our adrenaline fix at the largest water park in the Caribbean. This week, we're in the Exumas. We have made it to paradise. <laughs> we haven't even been here a full day yet, and we are already so obsessed with this property. We just got in yesterday morning, and thanks to Western Air for getting us here safely and quickly. Guys, it's only like a 25 to 30 minute flight from Nassau to and, get here. And it's literally one of the most beautiful flights we've ever taken. Oh yeah, we definitely recommend it. I mean, the whole experience with Western Air was great from check-in all the way to getting our bags when we got here to Exuma. So definitely check them out because you gotta come to Exuma and they are the perfect way to get here. We cannot wait to show you around this gorgeous property. Right now we're in the private beach and cove area. <laughs> we've actually already seen a pod of dolphins and three sea turtles just while we've been down here for like the last 30 minutes. So I think we need to go do a little snorkeling. Let's go. <laughs> lion fish in the water oh my god Sorry, it's so bright, so we're having to squint. <laughs> but how is this our playground right now? How I, is this our life right now? This is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. This water is some of the most blue and oh, clear yeah. I've ever seen. It's absolutely stunning. I mean, speechless. But we have worked up an appetite with all of this playing in our beautiful playground. So <laughs> let's go back up to the house and get some lunch. I just want to say that this place is such a vibe. We're listening to music from my phone and it's on the house speakers and we yeah. can hear it all throughout the property. It's so cool. Thankfully there aren't any neighbors or they probably wouldn't be fans of us. <laughs> I think I might have lost my ring. <laughs> I was just sitting here, we were about to make lunch and I reached out and was like, there's nothing there. But I can't remember if I put it on this morning. I thought I did. If I lost it, it's, oh right, no. it's right down there at the dock. <laughs> well. <laughs> So while we make lunch today, we wanna to talk to you about some of our favorite features of the house. One of those that stands out the most is the butler service, which is offered way fancier than <laughs> we are for sure. I love it though so much. <laughs> but it's been amazing because Lamont, and that's our butler's name, he is a freelance concierge mm -hmm. service here on the island. His company name is Island Hospitality. He literally knows everyone, all of the cool we... <laughs> places to see. It's amazing. Yes, so he met us actually at the airport with Big Enox Taxi Service service, picked us up, kind of gave us the tour on the way to the house. And like Natalie said, he knows everybody. So it was mm -hmm. lots of waving, <laughs> honking the horn, letting people know we were coming by. <laughs> and he got us fresh local baked bread. Yes, as well as 
fresh local jam. We haven't had a chance to crack into it yet. Maybe we will for like a little dessert or I something. I like that after idea. Lunch. But how sweet is that? The thoughtful <laughs> details are really what make this property stand out. It is. This bread was actually warm when he brought it to us yesterday. I hate that we didn't get to try it at that moment, but no. we're gonna have it with our very fancy tuna salad. <laughs> Natalie's famous tuna salad. <laughs> okay, so another really cool thing, like Lamont yesterday took us to get groceries because we really wanted to spend the whole day at the house and explore mm -hmm. and snorkel and that kind of thing. So we took us to the local grocery store. We actually went to the yacht club and ate, yes. which was awesome. Mm -hmm. But it was really cool to have a tour guide because we don't know where anything <laughs> is. And as you know, many of our travels are really short. We don't get to spend a lot of time. So it's kind of hard to connect with locals in the way that we have been able to mm -hmm. here, which has been absolutely awesome. Mm -hmm. This looks delicious. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> and there are so many different appliances here. They have an air fryer, they have a Keurig, they have a coffee pot, they also have a kettle, they have a stove with an air fryer in it. They have a deep fryer. Um, they also have a ninja smoothie maker plus a toaster. So everything that you need, they have here. They even have a sandwich grill press, which yep. Matt was so excited about. <laughs> I was mad that we didn't get cheese so I could make tuna melts, but you know. <laughs> So what do you guys call this part of the bread? What the butt. Call? The butt. <laughs> the butt, the heel. I've also heard it called other names that I won't say. <laughs> <laughs> so let us know in the comments what you call it. Mmm, that's good. Is it? Mm-hmm. <gasps> nice, isn't That's it? so good. It kind of reminds me of like a potato roll. It's got a, a little, little sweetness. It's got a little bit of sweetness in it. Mmm. Mm. That's delicious. You drain it? Yeah. It just looks a little runny. You don't have to eat it, dog. <laughs> I actually just tried it. I don't have all of the things I need for my recipe, <laughs> like lemon juice, salt and pepper. And honestly, I was just thinking, not bad. And then Matt goes, is it runny? I mean, yeah. Best thing you've ever had? Mm -hmm. That's Best tuna thought. salad I've ever had. Today. <laughs> So Lamont actually took us to go grab some beers. We got Sands Light. We also got Calic, and they're made here in the Bahamas. Hey. I'm talking about you. This is a man himself. <laughs> the, man, the man himself. The man himself. <laughs> <laughs> this bread is a lot more filling than our store-bought bread. Also these, two thumbs up. Love both of them. Absolutely delicious. This one's got a little more flavor than the Sands Light, as you expect, but that one is super easy drinker. Yeah. And this one is delicious and easy to drink as well, though. So I think we've made you wait long enough. Let's give you a house tour. Let's do it. to our Exuma home, Old Ike Bay. Come on in. And you may be wondering why it's called Old Ike Bay, and that's one of our favorite parts about this property. It's not just another vacation rental. It actually has family history. The owner's grandfather, Old Ike, owned this land, and he farmed on it, and he raised livestock. There is even a freshwater pond here, so I can totally see why they decided to build a house on this beautiful property. One of our favorite parts about this home is it has a digital guide book. It has places that they recommend for food, ways to get into the house, check out times all of it is digital which we are totally fans of as you walk into the property from the front door you enter into the grand entrance here which leads you straight through to the living room area which has one of the best views in the entire house in my opinion and in the living room you have a huge sectional enough seating for at least seven or eight people here directly beside that you'll lead over right into the giant dining room table where you can have plenty of wonderful family dinners with just absolutely beautiful panoramic views of the Caribbean. From there, we work our way over into the kitchen, which has an amazing gas burning stove, this beautiful modern island, all bright and white and clean, and even a touch faucet that we didn't realize was touched the first day and thought it was broken. So. You can tell that we are so <laughs> not fancy because it took us way too long to figure that out. <laughs> Embarrassingly long. <laughs> 
and in the kitchen you'll find it fully stocked with just about everything that you need to cook a family dinner of up to about eight or nine people which is how many people this house accommodates you have pots pans appliances cutlery as you can see plates bowls glasses really everything that you need now let's show you one of the bedrooms. This is the Serenity Suite. I love the hardwood details. Another one of my favorite features of this room in particular are these French doors and this patio. You can literally be sitting right here. Look at that view from the bed. That's pretty spectacular, isn't it? This house has four bedrooms, four and a half bath, and each room has a bath attached with a half bath in the main area. And my favorite thing, this bathtub. I haven't used it yet, but you better believe I will. I'm a bath girly. But it also has a shower, obviously a toilet. But it's a really good size. It has a rainfall. It's one of these. So that covers the main floor and we haven't even gotten to the outside part. Both this floor and the next floor up have wraparound porches with just incredible views. But let's head upstairs now. Once you make it to the top of the stairs, you enter into another common area living room space with a TV. And it's worth mentioning that every bedroom in the home has a TV and every TV is a Roku TV. So you can log into whatever accounts you want to watch your favorite shows. And that's another thing. This place has incredible Wi-Fi from the house all the way down to the private boat dock. You're never gonna have a problem staying connected. Off the second floor living room, there are three bedrooms with three bathrooms. This one here is a bedroom with two twin size beds, which would be perfect for children, and attached is their full bathroom. There is a utility room with a washer and dryer, but let's make our way into the next bedroom. Again, it doesn't get much better than these views, and every one of the main rooms has amazing views. Another ensuite bath and your own TV in the room. Oh, I didn't see you there. I'm just hanging out in my bedroom. Look at these views. We literally were in our bed this morning and we watched the sunrise. It was beyond spectacular. So this is the main bedroom. It has panoramic views that are absolutely to die for. I love that they have these little seats where we can just hang out in the morning. There's also, of course, a TV and a bathroom. They also have a walk-in closet, but it is a little uh, messy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we have a double vanity. Don't look yep, in here. Block that. Well, well, we got some. You didn't clean our stuff up? I didn't clean, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and here is the bathroom. We have a huge shower, rainfall, but literally just the best. So let's show you outside. This is the best part of the house, is the surrounding property. When you book this property, can you please invite me and Matt? I appreciate it more than you know. I promise we'll be fun. Something that I really enjoy about this property as well is that all of the main bedrooms, other than the twin bed bedroom that's mostly designed for kids, all of the other rooms, the other three, have their own entrance to the balcony area, which is really awesome. And if you have more than the eight or nine guests that this home accommodates, well, there is a little bit of a secret. Down below us on the base floor of this home is an entire other apartment area. It is completely self-contained, so it's not advertised, but the owner of the property has told us that we we should mention it just in case you do want to rent this place and say you have, I don't know, grandparents that are coming with you that would like to have their own space, maybe away from the chaos of kids, grandkids, you know how yeah. that can be? Or a nanny or... <laughs> or yeah, or a nanny if you're bringing a nanny. Or an uncle. Or an uncle Tom, you know what I mean? That's who we have. We put them downstairs. <laughs> but yeah, they can have their own space downstairs, but still be completely included in all of the daily activities. And of course, there is the main floor balcony which you guys saw earlier because that is where we had lunch and I highly recommend having as many meals out here as you possibly can. <laughs> if you're gonna eat out here at night, pack your bug spray though. Yes. That goes in general for Exuma. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of buggy place once the sun starts going down. So prepare for that because we didn't. Yeah, I got too many bug bites on my <laughs> legs, so.
So if you are looking for your next vacation rental here in the Exumas, then look no further than Old Ike Bay. This place is absolutely spectacular. We can't recommend it enough. We're going to put links for it down in the description of the video for you to check out. We actually had plans to sit right here and enjoy this view pretty much the rest of the afternoon. But while we were eating lunch earlier, Lamont, our butler, came in and said that today was the day to go to Chat and Chill, which is a very popular beach bar where you can chat and chill and feed stingrays and eat conch salad. So I think we're going to take Lamont's advice. So let's go. We just made it to the Exuma Yacht Club, which is where the water taxi that takes you over to Chat and Chill leaves from. It is $20 per person round trip, but they do take card, thank the Lord. <laughs> The world famous chat and chill. Yeah, Hoping to have some gumbe smash and a good time. That's yeah. it. That's yeah. it. You only get up fun. Be an Exuma Paradise in Paradise. Coconutty, is that rum? I don't know. It's delicious. Famous Chat and Chill conch salad for the first time. Mmm, so fresh. Heavy on the lime, a lot of peppers and tomatoes in there, but obviously conch doesn't get much fresher than this. I mean, he's literally walking to the ocean, grabbing the conch, and then chopping it up for you. Delicious. I see stingrays in the water, so we're gonna definitely have to check that out. But in the meantime, very limey but really delicious. I just love how fresh it is. It's not too heavy, so this is something you can definitely have in the sun. It is $20. Yeah, a little pricey. It is a little pricey, but obviously this is like kind of a tourist trap. So take it or leave it. I've had conch in other tropical places, but. Yep. And the guy making it is kind of a jerk, so. <laughs> you win some, you lose some, you know what I mean? All right, let's go swim with some stingrays. <laughs> let's keep it real. I'm scared it's gonna like suck on my toes or something, you know? <laughs> oh, touch me. Touch me, touch me. Don't suck on my toes. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Those stingrays were so fun, but very slimy when they touch your toes. <laughs> So chat and chill is definitely a vibe. <laughs> I will say if you want more of the chat and chill experience rather than the chat and party experience, I don't think I would come on a Sunday. It's been an awesome experience. There's yeah. nothing nothing to bash about it. But if you're wanting a more low key experience, probably come check it out during the week. Now we're gonna head back on the ferry to the house for something super special. So we've come around to the back side of the island, which is where our ferry is picking us up. And I think we found the secret beach of Chat and Chill. Check this place out. <laughs> So we 
just got back from chat and chill changed for dinner because we have a private chef coming to the home to cook us dinner. We are so excited about it. What a cool experience. I am so excited. Oh, yeah. It smells delicious in here. I wish you could be here with us. We can't wait to eat this. Our first course is a tomato mozzarella salad. With it looks like a vinaigrette of some kind. Mm -hmm. Can another one? <laughs> when you think you got enough, do one more. Just do one more. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. That dressing, phenomenal. Wow. Well, in that case. Better than I even expected. Holy moly. Who could have thought a salad tasted that good? And he doesn't even like salad. I mean, that says something about how good it was. <laughs> Before? I don't think so. Oh, no? no, I don't think oh, so. No, it's no. Our first time. Our first time. Oh. Now we're on our second course, which yep. is crack conch. Yep, it is a Bohemian local dish. We've never had it before. No, and it looks amazing. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you <laughs> kidding me? I haven't even tried it yet. Mm -hmm. And there's a sauce. That's like a saucy guy. Uh, so. sauce guy. It looks like a tartar sauce with it, maybe. Mm. That look right. Yeah. Like homemade, lightly breaded, chewy but not crazy chewy. She said if you fry it too long, it gets really hard. Mm. It's similar to fried calamari, but it's got its own flavor. It really does. And, and textures, but very similar. It's also kind of neat sitting here eating our appetizer and watching our entrees being cooked. It is. <laughs> it's like watching a TV food show, which we love watching. And then you get to eat the food that they cook, which I don't get to do normally. So, let me give you a little view of what we see. Legitimately do not have words for the entree course. <laughs> the entree is surf and turf, steak and lobster. It is beautifully plated with Brussels sprouts, carrots, and asparagus. A, asparagus. It's a French piped potato that's then baked. Highly, highly recommend, and this hasn't even touched my lips yet. If, if it's anything like the first two courses. Yeah. Uh, Seasoned perfectly, so tender, juicy. I am not mad at that. Oh, it is amazing! So you are. It's so it much, really is. Hey, barely even gotten to dive in yet. Plated now perfectly. I haven't even taken a bite yet because I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can definitely see why you have repeat customers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> the restaurant comes to you. It's that a no-brainer. Dang it, brainer. much better. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not even finished and I am so stuffed. The amount of food, delicious food. Uh huh. But I'm eating every single piece of this. <laughs> <laughs> the great thing about hiring a private chef like Chef Keva is if you go to the restaurant and you don't save room for dessert, guess what? You probably just don't get dessert. Here, when you have Chef Keva come in and bring the restaurant to you, when you don't save room for dessert, they just leave the dessert for you <laughs> and tell you how to prepare it after the fact because they saw we were getting pretty stuffed and slowing down. So they said, you know what? We'll leave this for you. <laughs> Pop it in the microwave for maybe a minute. Yeah. Drizzle the sauce over top. Be great. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be having that later. In the meantime, we're going to try our best to finish this, but it's just absolutely such yeah. an amazing experience. They were so sweet, hospitable, kind. I didn't realize that they did all the dishes. Oh, yeah. You have to have this experience. Yeah. It really is awesome, especially if you have a huge family. Oh, yeah. I if mean, you have a huge family and you're coming in from Chat and Chill or on the boat mm, or the beach or whatever, a lot of times the last thing you want to do is oh, yeah. slave in the kitchen to get dinner prepared. 
prepared for the family. So yeah, this is the way to go. It's oh, the way 1, to do 000%. it. A thousand percent. And yeah. Chef Kubba was the absolute sweetest. Yeah. So the experience from top to bottom, highly recommend it. Wow, I know we started off the video saying that we fell in love with the property, but now we have truly <laughs> fallen in love with this property. We're already dreaming and scheming of ways that we can come back here with family and friends because this is such a beautiful property. I mean, it's in paradise, literally. Because this place isn't, I mean, the house itself is incredible, yes, yes, but it's everything else that comes with the place. It's an experience altogether from having your own private butler service, mm -hmm. your own private beach and lagoon, your own private boat dock yes. and swimming area. And then we ended the night with a private chef. I don't know how it can get much better. Guys. No, this <laughs> has just been an experience. Definitely luxurious. Every detail was thought of. And I mean, just the nature aspect of it was yes. phenomenal. And we hope that you get the chance to come here as well. Yeah, we're going to put links in the description for all of the things that we experienced, <laughs> as well as in our blog, which will also be linked down in the description. But thankfully, this isn't the end of our Exuma nope. adventures. So if you'd like to continue exploring the Exumas with us, please hit that thumbs up button on this video and subscribe as well because we're on a journey to see as many of the 1,000 places to see before you die. Before place, we die. <laughs> places like the Exumas, and we would love to have you on the journey. And we'll see you guys next week. This is why it's colder than it looks, guys. <laughs> but once you're in, it's fun. But it ain't bad for January. <laughs> you get a single boat every now and then. That's a nice one, too. Was it a nice boat? Oh, yeah. How much? Half a million. For real? I am not a good judge of how much boats cost. <laughs> I'm like 25,000, and Matt's like, no, that was a million dollar boat. I can't see anything. It's so bright. Okay, woo. <laughs> Welcome to our Exuma. No. What is that? 90 degree views? 180, yeah. <gasps> the turtle just popped its little head out. Right there. Hold on. Not far Literally not far at all. Go get your snorkel on. I can't do it with my sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> French door that I have to unlock. Hold on. <laughs> Which would be perfect for children or your husband if he messed up that day. <laughs>